In the Gospel of Luke, we encounter the profound and sacred moment of the Annunciation. It is a passage that unfolds with divine significance, as the angel Gabriel visits Mary to announce the miraculous conception of Jesus. As we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, this passage holds a particular resonance, as it marks the beginning of Mary's journey and her role in the unfolding plan of salvation. The passage begins with the angel Gabriel being sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. The divine messenger greets Mary with words that resound through the corridors of time, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. In this salutation, we witness the divine favor bestowed upon Mary, a young woman chosen for a unique and sacred purpose. The angel's greeting reveals Mary's immaculate nature, her purity and grace, setting the stage for the revelation that follows. Mary, understandably perplexed and troubled by the angel's words, receives an explanation of the divine plan. Gabriel elucidates that she will conceive a son, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. The angel's proclamation echoes the prophecies of old, intertwining the threads of the Old Testament with the fulfillment found in the New. Mary's fiat, her willing acceptance of this divine mission, resounds with humility and surrender. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me according to your word, she declares. The Feast of the Immaculate Conception celebrates the belief that Mary, from the moment of her conception, was preserved from original sin, making her a fitting vessel for the Incarnation. As we reflect on this Gospel passage, we recognize the profound connection between Mary's Immaculate Nature and her fiat. The purity of her heart and her openness to God's will stand as a testament to the beauty of surrendering to the Divine Plan. In the cultural and social context of her time, Mary's acceptance of this extraordinary calling carries immense courage. Her yes echoes through the ages, inviting each of us to reflect on our own responses to God's invitations in our lives. The Annunciation challenges us to cultivate a spirit of receptivity, trust, and obedience to the Divine Will, even when it leads us into the unknown. Let us contemplate Mary's role in salvation history. Her fiat becomes a paradigm for our own journeys of faith. Like Mary, we are called to say yes to God's promptings in our lives, even when the path ahead seems unclear or challenging. The feast beckons us to ponder the immaculate spaces within our own hearts, seeking purification and openness to God's transformative grace. Heavenly Father, as we gather on this sacred day, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, our hearts are drawn to the Annunciation, the moment when the angel Gabriel brought tidings of great joy to Mary. In the quiet town of Nazareth, your divine plan unfolded, and a young woman's humble yes changed the course of history. We come before you, acknowledging the purity and grace with which you adorned Mary from the moment of her conception. As we reflect on the Gospel of Luke, may we be inspired by Mary's fiat, her complete and unconditional surrender to your will. In her response, we find a model of faith, trust, and openness to the miraculous workings of your Spirit. Lord Jesus, you entered our world through the fiat of Mary, choosing her as the vessel for your incarnation. Help us to emulate her virtues, her humility, her unwavering trust, and her willingness to embrace the unknown. In the silence of our hearts, may we echo Mary's words, let it be done to me according to your word, offering ourselves as instruments of your divine purpose. Holy Spirit, infuse us with the grace of receptivity. Illuminate the immaculate spaces within our hearts, cleansing us from the stains of sin and doubt. May our lives be a continuous yes to your promptings, as we navigate the uncertainties of our earthly pilgrimage with faith and courage. Mother Mary, on this day dedicated to your Immaculate Conception, we turn to you as our Advocate and Guide. Intercede for us, that we may be granted the strength to say yes to God's will, even when the path ahead seems daunting. Teach us to ponder the mysteries of God in our hearts, just as you did. 
May our hearts be filled with gratitude for the gift of Mary, the Mother of God. Through her intercession, may we draw closer to your divine presence and, like her, become vessels of your love and mercy in the world. Amen.